if you're considering putting it on the market. We're here at a home in Laguna Woods that uh, was referred to me by somebody whose client up north that owned the property down here was trying to sell and had been working with another agent for over five months trying to get the property sold. Let me just tell you what it looked like before it was on the market with the previous agent. When you walked up to the property, which is hugely important, first impressions are everything on a home, when you walked up to this property before, what you came upon was some very old, cracked, mismatched furniture, way too big for the area that it was in. As you can see, where it's, it's a cute and tidy little patio, but we had huge furniture. And not only that, but we had this great storage space, but the doors were left wide open when you walked up. And lo and behold, there was all kinds of debris, dirt, all kinds of things you just don't want to see when you walk up. So that was your very first impression of the property. Not a good first impression. So we came in and we cleaned it up. We brought in some foliage. Green always makes a difference. A cute little bistro table. We cleaned up all the debris, added in a little more greenery here and there, and bam, you have a great first impression on the property. I'll show you some more. Come on inside. Okay, so here we are inside the house. And again, we're trying to make a really good first impression. We've come through, we've seen the sweet little uh, front patio area. Previously, when you'd walk in this home, it was completely empty. There wasn't a stick of furniture in it. And the problem with the house is not the house itself. It's got great vaulted ceilings, lots of space. But if there's nothing here to think about, all you're going to do is you're going to look straight down to the carpet, in which this case it's fairly old and it has discolorations on it. Now, if there's nothing in the room, the only thing you're going to think about are the discolorations on the carpet. And you're already having a, a, a list of to-do items in your mind. And you haven't even gotten past the family room. So we came in and we showed how it's a great sized room. Plenty of space for couch, other seating, accessories, and it, it's just a really lovely space. So another detracting fact with this house, uh, the biggest hurdle we had to overcome was the existence of a common courtyard rear patio. And what that means is lack of privacy. Again, the house is a great house, but if the only thing you see when you walk in is carpet with issues in your neighbor's kitchen, you're having trouble loving this house, but it is a great house. We needed to figure out how to make it a great house. So the first thing that you do is you want to distract. So what we did here was we laid out a table area, brought in floral, brought in some things on the walls, because now you're going to go on and think about, oh, this is fantastic. I can have my table here. I can have people. I can see us having dinners. I can see us entertaining guests. Now you're not thinking about the neighbor across the way. And here you can also then immediately see that you have a great kitchen. We didn't have to do much in here. The kitchen's great. It's ready to go. It's white and bright and it would appeal to the type of buyer in Laguna Woods. So we just freshened it up with some accessories to make you feel happy when you're in this kitchen because it's a pretty happy space already. So that's how we took care of the front half of the house, which is where a huge second part of your first impression comes into play. Let's go take a look at the back of the house just to give you a little bit more idea about the property. Okay, so here we are in the master bedroom. Now, there's only two bedrooms in the house, so in staging, you don't need to go all out. You can do just a few key rooms. In the master bedroom, obviously a key room in the house. So we just wanted to show, again, rather than an empty room, we wanted to show that this could be a lovely haven for you. Big bed, big fluffy pillows, big fluffy blankets, a charming little area to sit down and write notes to your friends. This makes the room look much better. And of course, highlights the fact that you do have this huge window and views out to the trees and a green belt out there. And before, if the room is empty, you're just thinking, well, the closet doors are kind of old. The carpet's just so-so. It's just, it leaves you with very little passion. Now you can come in here and you can't wait to kind of jump in bed and read a book and just relax in your wonderful master retreat. So that's the master bedroom. Not a whole lot to do with staging, just the right key features will make the room so much better. So staging, what does it do for you? Well, in the case of this particular property, previously when it was on the market, it had sat for over four months. A hundred people came through the property, not one offer. We brought in my stager, Tina, who does a fantastic job. We staged it just the way you see it, had great photography on top of it, and within five days, the home was sold. So five days on the market, 
in escrow or four and a half months on the market with nothing. You make the choice. But as you can see, staging can make a huge difference in getting you well on your way with your goals and getting your home sold. So if you're interested in property values, if you're interested in selling your home or looking into the purchase, give me a call. I'd love to chat with you about that and any other questions you have about real estate. I'm Michelle Wilson with First Team. Thanks for stopping by.